Ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and welcome to Conan Exiles! And you're probably thinking, what are you doing playing a survival game? You never play any of these games. Well, as the sun comes up over the horizon there, I'm going to tell you, because Conan Exiles is actually a lot of fun. So, let me explain. For anyone who's ever played a game called Ark Survival Evolved, where you played as a sort of cave person, and you lived in the time of the dinosaurs, wait, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Conan the Barbarian, it was a movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger played as a barbarian and went and slaughtered a lot of people. And in this universe, we have Conan Exiles, which is, well... It's a survival game set in that universe. So, yeah. Um, not much else to say, really. This is my little settlement here. There's not much to it yet. We've got a campfire. We've got a workbench, which I'll talk about later. And this is my house. So, this is the house right now. And uh, there's a little bedroll and stuff and storage spaces. Not much to really show here. This is another building that I'm working on right now, so there's nothing really much to show yet. I've got my staircase going up, and I've been experimenting with the floor here. You can make little angled pieces, and I was just kind of having a look at how that sort of fit together. Which looks quite interesting, actually. Um, not sure what I'm going to turn that into. But, uh, yeah, so a little bit of background on the game. Oh, that's another house that a friend of mine is building right here. She's much a better builder than I am, so... Uh, that's going to turn out to look quite interesting. And uh, over there are some AI NPCs. So this game, not only do you have beasts to hunt, but you also have people. And uh, cannibalism is a thing in this game. But more to it than that, if I open up the inventory, we can actually see all of the crafting recipes that I have available here. I'm not that far into the game just yet, but if we go into the recipes here, just scroll down here. We have something called Thrall Taker as one of the knowledge trees, and that unlocks a number of things, including a lesser Wheel of Pain. So anyone who remembers Conan the Barbarian, the sort of wheel that uh, Arnie was pushing around in circles, that's basically what that is. And you can actually take these AI NPCs and put them on those and make them part of your little village. They become yours. So essentially it's a game about slavery, which um, is quite different actually. I wasn't expecting that, but it is something that you can well and truly do in this game. So I was quite surprised that, you know, that it was even a thing. Um, but the interesting thing is, uh, let's get to this workbench over here. So this is an armor's workbench. And I haven't researched a lot of recipes yet, but you can actually research a number of things. But you can put thralls on this. You can get them to work these benches. You can even get them to uh, protect your village when you're offline. So, of course, in on this particular server, bodies stay when you're offline. Which uh, I'm going to prove right now. Because my friend is offline and she's, well, she's unconscious on the floor. Nobody actually sleeps this way. But anyway, um, so you actually stay. So while you're offline, the thralls will protect your shit. And that's something that, that you know, I, I didn't like about old survival games. You played Rust, you would have people raiding your base and you had to defend it and putting walls up and everything to make sure that nobody could get in and take any of your stuff. In this, however, you can get the thralls to do it for you. Of course, you do need to level up to do that. And, uh, well... We're going to actually go ahead and do that right now. So, I've got 80 putrid meat. All of the food that I was carrying on me has actually got, gotten spoiled. I'm not entirely sure what we can do with that, but it does list it as an ingredient, so I'm keeping some of it to really see what that's actually worth. Um, so, let's go out for a day's hunting. Now, this is a private server that I'm playing on, and... Um, uh, details are in the description below. If you want to get a server for yourself, I have a link down there which will give you the opportunity to go and rent a server for yourself. I'm going to just kill these imps. So I've actually specced my character as an archer. Come on. Kill him. There we go. And this is kind of uh, how I've chosen to play this one. 
So let's go over to the hunting grounds and let's see what we can find. Alright, so this is my happy little hunting ground for now. Uh, there's some eggs in that nest over there, and those belong to a certain species of walking turtle. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this imp here. Imps can provide us with meat, but they're not particularly great. Um, so they're not really what I'm looking for, but these eggs over here, however, do provide a nice source of food. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these guys. There's another set of uh, NPCs nearby. Oh, hello. Oh, can I talk about the combat for a second? So I, I am playing as an archer, and uh, it is quite sort of kite and shoot. But you also have a, a dodge mechanic, which I can show you in the vanity camera right here. So if I hit strafe and I hit the sprint button, instead of sprinting in that direction, you actually get a little dodge maneuver, which can help you avoid some of the attacks and keep your distance. But it does use stamina. Now, that's that was something that I, I thought was quite interesting. Now, if I have a weapon in one hand, of course, certain weapons are right hand only, which I thought was a little bit weird, but if I right click, I actually can use my alternate hand. So uh, this is actually punching and then this, this is striking. So you can actually have equipment equipped in both hands. So there are swords and there are also shields. And uh, you can actually dual wield certain types of weapons as well. So there's a lot of things to do in this game. Right, so I'm just going to hunt this shale back here, which is the type of turtle. Well, these guys are particularly tough. So, excuse me while I focus a little bit. Alright, let's, let's back away a little bit more. Currently getting quite thirsty. I'm gonna just drink some water. Always get very thirsty. And there we go. Now there's no shoot cancel. That's the that's one thing that I don't like. But I can unequip the weapon and end up with an arrow in my hand. This game is an early access. It has just launched on Steam early access, and this is one of the issues. So if I if I do that, I end up with an arrow sort of permanently in my hand. It's very weird, but I hope they fix that soon, because that is quite strange. It's just permanently holding on to um, an arrow. So that's the sort of meat that we're looking for right now. Let's get rid of that arrow. Yeah, I'll hold on to the pickaxe, why not? So, of course, meat does get spoiled, uh, and that does take several sort of, I guess, like, minutes to do so. But if we cook it, then... Uh, it actually doesn't spoil as fast, so let's just take the putrid meat out of there. We do need some... Yeah, we'll put the branches in here as fuel. And that will cook away quite nicely. The branches aren't particularly great for fuel, but... Um, it's what we have right now. I guess I can probably go and grab some wood from the trees over here. Very typical survival game sort of stuff. But yeah, what I'm planning anyway for this as far as a series goes, because I'm going to be doing a couple more videos on this, is I'm going to be building up this settlement and kind of showing off different builds and things and how this game gets along for me. I don't know how long the series is going to be or how it's, uh, it's going to come together, but uh, it's going to be kind of my adventures in this... Uh, in this particular game and of course I will be streaming that as well but if you would like to see that don't forget to uh, leave a like on the video and comment down below if you, that is what you would like to see and also if you are considering picking up this game if you have any questions don't feel uh, don't feel ashamed to ask uh, that's that's kind of what the comment section is really for but overall like this game is really really good looking gotta say so right now now we've got the food cooking away I'm gonna head down into this uh, little river valley here. There's a there's another settlement there. They've actually built up a second floor already, which is something I'm going to be doing soon. Just going to head down to the river and get myself a drink, and of course fill up my water skin. So uh, let's just empty that for now and uh, fill it up here. There we go. So you can see there on the uh, number seven key that is my. Uh, that is my water skin, which uh, is a sort of reusable thing. You can just refill it. You can carry as many as you want as well. Now, I haven't found a way of preserving meats and things yet, so some of the best food really does get spoiled very quickly. Uh, oh, we've got some already. 
So I can just go ahead and eat that. And this is actually really, really good meat too, so very, very good source of food there. Which of course is what I'm really looking at uh, um, hunting those animals for, is really just the meat that they provide is excellent. As compared to some of the others that you can get. Now, of course, you can you can just cook human flesh as well if you really want to, and uh, there there oh there are religions in this game too. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, so I've I'm this character is under Mitra, so I can have a shrine of Mitra, and you do actually worship these different gods, and you get certain powers associated with them, certain equipment, you and you can also build up to summon like world destroying avatars, which can crush entire cities, and I mean quite literally crush cities. They can actually just walk through them. Which is quite entertaining, actually. Let's just kind of kill these thralls here. Just shot him in the crotch there. Uh, let's see. Let's get this one. Now, if I do sound a little bit under the weather, I, I'm, I'm not getting sick. At least I don't think so. I'm just... Very tired. I've I've been up all night playing this and trying to prepare for videos. So um, yeah, I am very very tired at the moment. Let's see. So I did see some AI NPCs down here. They are gone now though. Um, did want to show something off, but they seem to have despawned or been killed. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, that's very strange. I'm not seeing any NPCs around. Oh, wait, hang on. There's one. Okay, let's see if we can get a sneaky shot at him. Might have just missed that very slightly. Come on. Oh, there's another one that spawned. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go down there and fight them. Get a little bit closer. Who knows? Oh, there's a, that's a... That wasn't there yesterday. Somebody else has moved in. We have new neighbors. Yeah, there are a lot of people playing on the server, so uh, we're going to be bumping into people in our adventures for sure. Alright, here's one coming to attack me. So there is something I wanted to show. Um, if we just have a look at this one here. Sumerian Exile. So all of them have different races, and uh, this one is a fighter, so they all have different classes as well. And the different classes correspond to different things. So different race and class combinations, at least for these NPCs, do correspond to different traits, and uh, when you actually take them as thralls, they all have different stats. So you can actually, you know, be on the lookout for particular NPCs to uh, enslave, because they'll all end up being useful for different things. And of course the different roles they play. So this is another fighter as well, but you do also encounter dancers and and um, archers as well. So they all have different sort of uses. Oh, well, okay, there goes that bow. I'm gonna hit him with my axe. I will say there's there's definitely gore in this game. So if you don't like blood or you don't like uh, dismemberment, this is not for you. There we go. So we've got a bow back. And of course, can loot them. I forgot to loot the other one, actually. Where are they? Your bodies despawn very, very quickly, so I think they're already gone. Which is a bit of a shame. Not something I was expecting. Right, I see a little rabbit. Can we, can we hit this rabbit? Oh, well, that was an instant kill. Uh, let's just harvest the meat out of it. So overall, this is this is shown to be quite an interesting game for me. Um, and this is just kind of an introduction video. So uh, yeah, if you do want to see more of this, you want to see the building. I I will. No normally I like to cover everything in one video, but I think that's probably going to make the video really, really, really long. So if you want to see the building, that will be in the next video. So uh, yeah, just a very, very quick video showing off 
Conan Exiles you want to see more, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below with what you'd like to see in the next episode. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you next time.